darkness. And thy law is the truth. The law is the what? And thy law is the truth. Right? All right, sister. So. All right, sister. So we are here today showing our people who they are according to scripture. Right? These things have been taken from us. Right? And we've lost these things. And the law is the truth. The law will expose these things, man. Right? Let me get Leviticus chapter 6 really quick. Right through it from the top. I actually started to. Now, listen to this, sister. This is a law. Right? Listen. Uh, 6. Yeah. On. Go. Leviticus chapter 6 and verse, verse number 2. Mm -hmm. If a soul sin and commit a transgression against the Lord and lie unto his neighbor. You know what lying is, right? Not telling the truth, right? And that which was delivered him to keep or in his fellowship or in a thing taken away by violence. Taken away by what? By violence. Uh -huh. Or have deceived his neighbor mm -hmm. or have found that which was lost mm -hmm. and lied concerning it mm -hmm. and swear falsely. And what concerning it? And lied concerning it uh -huh. and swear falsely in any of all these a man doeth sinning therein then it shall be because he has sinned and is guilty that he shall restore he is what he is shall, guilty uh -huh. that he shall restore that which he took uh. violently away took it what violently, violently away. away took it violently away sister now look at this picture that we have sister you, you gonna pay attention to us all right so look at this how did this happen to this brother what is the beginnings of this right how did what is this right here it's a ship but what is on the ship yeah who, when you think about that who came over on ships look at the context of what we showing you that who who took us go back to that with violence it reads right took i'm oh, sorry uh -huh. then uh that he shall restore that which he took violently away took it violently away were we taken violently away from our land we was taken violently away from our land right so guess what let's go to deuteronomy chapter 20 and let's expound on that this is the bible this is the holy bible king james version everybody been holding it when they go into those churches but let's see if they ever taught you these things right deuteronomy chapter 28 verse uh 50 uh, let's start at uh, verse 15. deuteronomy 28 and here, verse here it is sister but it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which i command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. curses is that a good thing or a bad thing this is a clue say it again it's a, it's a bad thing right okay it's a bad thing right read this first uh let me start at verse 45 Verse number 45. Here it is, sister. Moreover, all these curses. All these what? All, all these, these curses curse, uh -huh. shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. And pursue thee. Can you get away from them? They're going to chase you down. Go ahead. And overtake And overtake you. So there's your answer. Go ahead. So thou be destroyed. So thou be what? So thou be destroyed. Uh -huh. We are destroyed people, sister. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Mayan, Aztecs, Native Americans, so-called, we are in a destroyed state. Right. Right? Hating one another. Hey, and serving our enemies. Read. Because thou hearken is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we did not listen to the voice of the Lord our God. Now Moses is talking. You ever heard of Moses, sister? Moses is talking to the children of Israel. Let's go ahead. To keep his commandments mm -hmm. and his statutes which he commanded thee. Mm -hmm. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And so these curses are going to be on us for a sign. A sign is what identifies, right? What's that sign over there on that, that corner right there? Look at that sign. You see that? That sign, what street? Prairie. And you know that for looking at what? The sign. It's words, but it's posted on the what? A sign, right? So a sign identifies. Read that again, verse 46. Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. So Moses is saying these curses are going to identify his people, the children of Israel. Verse 16. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed oh, yeah. forever. And upon thy what? And upon, upon thy seed forever. forever. Uh, what are we the descendants of, sister? When you look at this, what are we the descendants of? Well, 
What are what were they that they can be beating their back like that, right? Slaves, right? Go to verse 16. Curse, verse 16. Curse shall I be in the city, and curse shall I be in the field. So in this in the city. What, what was that, sister? All right. So it says, Cursed shall you be in the city. Sister, in the city of Houston, are we cursed? Who lives in the ghettos? Who's the ones that's mostly locked up? Where are you from? Chicago. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so in the city of, of Chicago, right, you might even say, hey, it's a lot of love there. But what is the media pushing? Oh, you say no. So again, let me ask you. The scripture says, curse shall you be in the city. In the city of Chicago, how are we living? We living good? Are we at the top? Do we own the high-rise buildings? And I say own it. Do we own the high-rise buildings? The ones that the ones that our, our people build. We build it. We built America. Have you ever heard of this? It's the truth. It's the truth, sister. So guess what? It says what? Curse shall you be in the city. Who the most locked up? Well, us. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the most locked up, right? Let's read, read verse 17. Now, this is curses that we're reading out the Bible. It says, if you don't listen, curse shall you be in the city. Curse shall I be in the city, and curse shall I be in the field. In the field, in the slave plantation. Who was on the slave plantation? Was it the so-called white man who said, hey, I work hard to get everything that I got? Was it him in the, because the sun would have, the sun that's up in the sky when it's hot, it would have jacked him up. He wouldn't be able to finish nothing he tried to do anyway. Huh? Yeah, he'd be red, boiling, and, you know, popping with bubbles and whatnot. So, guess what? Who was on those plantations? Read it again. Curse shall I be in the city, and curse shall I be in the field. Curse shall you be in the field. Strawberry field, cotton field, sugar cane field. Right? Moses is telling you these things thousands of years ago, sister. Right? He's talking to the Israelites. Right? What they call you today? Black, right? You're not black. This brother's shirt is black. I'm very dark. I'm very dark, but I'm not. Right? It's a, co it's a color out of a crayon box. You see what I'm saying? Right? So we try to make these points so we can let you understand who you are. Let's go ahead and get that. Watch what the Bible says. Verse 37. Verse number 37. Right. And, go ahead, King. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Mm. A proverb mm -hmm. and a byword. A byword. You know what a byword is? I'm going to tell you. Black. African American. Right? Leo Scipio Africanus. I mean, Leo Scipio Africanus. Yes. He's a so called white man. A, a discovery. He just, you know, you know when they say that, when they throw them words around. I'm about to steal it. Right? So, so, so check it out. Africa. Where does that come from? What name does that come from? It comes from Leo Scipio Africanus, a so-called white man. America. America's Vespucci. This is a man. These are white men at that. You understand, sister? How can you be African-American? How can your people say, I'm African-American? That is a what? Byword, sister. A proverb. Say that again. Read it again. Uh, verse number 33. I'm sorry, 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb. And a byword. A byword. A proverb is what? A wise saying. Right? You know them niggas love chicken. Hey, hey, pull him over. He might got a gun. That's why every time they kill us, they say, unarmed black. Another what? Unarmed black man. Right? They steady trying to push this around and push this narrative on us. And what happened? What ends up happening? We get we have to pay for that. The narrative that they make while we keep it our head down working, they create narratives to destroy us. And sometimes our people say, man, what's the, what, what is the motivation of that, right? They don't have, what is the motivation of that? We show you right now that these curses are going to be upon our people forever. Let's go to Nehemiah chapter 9 and verse 30, 37. Hear this real quick. This is something else that happened. Nehemiah 9 and 37. This is something else that happened in the slave plantation, right? And then let me get a 32. Deuteronomy 20 and 32. Hear this, sister. Nehemiah 9 37. and 36. This is Nehemiah 9 and 37. And it yieldeth much and increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. Also, they have dominion over our bodies. They have dominion over our what? Over our body. They have dominion over our what? Over our body. They had dominion on our body, sister. So what happened? How did the slave how did the slave master get richer? 
What, what did he do? He he bought, bought more, but what would he do with a strong black man and a strong uh, black woman? What would he make them do? Who? Make babies, right? And guess what? What would he do with those babies? He'd do what? Read it. Uh, Deuteronomy 2, uh, verse 33, right? 32. 32, so what? And it reads. Here it is, sister. Thy sons and thy daughters. Thy what? Thy, thy sons, sons and, and thy, thy daughters. daughters. What comes from the womb of a woman? Read it. Say it. Thy sons and thy daughters. So, sister, you agree with that? Guess what? Read it. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh-oh. They gave. Did they not? How did... How did they make that money again, sister? They sold us. You see what I mean? Right? Let's get let, let's let's get deeper in this thing. Let's go to verse uh 48. Right? So they sold our sons and our daughters. The brother read it. It says what? They had dominion over our bodies. Right? They buck buck broke the men. What that mean? You ever heard of them being buck broke? They did it. If you had okay, ah. Pulp right, Pulp Fiction, right? Establish dominance on the man in front of everybody, not not just with this, because this is a form of dominion, uh, dominion over our bodies as well, right? Get up, beat us, get out there and work, right? Inward, right? That's what he did, right? But what else? What's the depth of it, man? The brother was actually talking about how they force fed us. Broke our teeth. We didn't want to eat. We was trying to what? Uh, uh, what's do you call? What do you call that word? Uh, uh, uh. Now we basically trying to protest our uh, uh, captivity. We say, well, we just gonna die, and they're trying not to eat. Man, they'll break their teeth open. The white man will break your teeth. Is that not dominion over your body? Right? They sell your children. Right? Sell them. You see that? But guess what? It happened to our forefather, sister. Right? Verse forty-eight. Here it is. Verse number 48. Therefore, shall I serve thine enemies? That's shall what? Shall I serve thine enemies? Enemy. We serve in our enemies this day, sister. For what? Which the Lord shall send against me. Uh-huh. And hunger. And what? And, and hunger. And what? And hunger. What you eat. Right? Go ahead. And in thirst. And in thirst. What you drink. Go ahead. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. What you wear. So, when you're hungry, where do you go? You go to H-E-B. Right? And I'm talking about when you like your husband, like, you, you got a husband, right? When your boyfriend like, okay, well, when, when, okay, for, for me, when I wake up and I'm hungry, where I got to go? I got to go to H-E-B. I got to go to Walmart, right? 7-Eleven, wherever. Guess what? Our enemies. Read it again. Right? And you shall, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger mm -hmm. and in thirst uh -huh. and in nakedness uh -huh. and in want of all things. Everything that you want, you got to get it from your enemy. You see that? Is that reson resonating with you as a curse? We don't control anything. We don't manufacture anything. Say it again. We got to get the seed in from who? From the wicked. We got to buy the land from who? From the wicked. We got to pay taxes from who? Uh, to who? The wicked. Everybody that destroyed and took our people. Right? That's who we getting it from. Let me get Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 15. Sister, you got to understand. The scripture that we started off with, Leviticus chapter 6, that's the Lord's law. The Lord's law tells us what? It says if you take anything violently, right? Or if you find that which is lost and lie and, de and deceive, what's going to happen? Man? That's a sin, man. And you have to restore it. Did the so-called white man restore it? Uh -uh. Did he restore it? Uh -uh. Did he restore it? Uh -uh. Guess what? He's going to have to get a, he gonna get a judgment for that. 2 verse 15 or verse 12. Verse uh -huh. 12. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. You said verse 12? Yes, sir. 2 and verse 12. Oh, God. Woe to him that building. Say it again. Woe to him. Woe to him. That means that's distress. That's scary. Oh, hey, it's coming for you. Whoa, you did what? Say it again. Woe to him. Uh huh. That building a town. That building the what? That, that building a town. town. Read it strong. That, that building a town. town. Uh huh. And establish a city by iniquity. Establish a what? A establish city. a city by iniquity. And in these cities. You shall be cursed. Who built this town and established it? Oh. Who established Houston, Texas? Even though we built it. But who established it? The who? That's right. Okay? Bring it out again. From the top. Woe to him 
that built it a town with blood. With what? With, with blood. With what? With blood. With violence with and with what? With, with blood. blood. Uh huh. And establish a city by iniquity. By what? <laughs> by iniquity. Hey, that's talking about sin, right? Who did that? The Bible is asking, right? Read it. Read it again. Keep going. Behold, it is not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fight. Mm -hmm. And the people shall weary themselves for very vanity. Mm -hmm. For the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the glory of your house. The earth shall be what? Filled with knowledge of the glory of your house. See, we give you knowledge right here. Isaiah chapter three, 1 and verse 3. We give you knowledge and understanding, letting you know who you are, sister. Right? You greater than what they think. Hey, you black. You ain't even. I mean, come on. That's a color out of a crayon box, right? They call you, and hey, we got, hey, let me get a, uh, you go, you got money. Let's say you go, hey, I, 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 let me get a, a black Escalade for the black woman here. That's what they think. You're not black, right? <laughs> they call, that's a, that's a proverb in a blind word. That, guess what? That is very offensive. You understand, sister? Right? Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Swear to God. Time, time. It's all good, King. 1 and go 3. Ahead. 1 and 3. Right? Call me Israel. Call me Israel. I mean, rise Israel. That's who we are. Because that's who Moses is telling you, uh, uh, reminding our people these things. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh huh. The ox knows his owner. The what? The ox knows his owner. Uh huh. And the ass, his master's crib. Uh huh. But Israel does not know my people. Does not consider. So he's saying, you don't know. You don't consider. All these curses. You listen to me, sister. All these curses are up on the children of Israel, sister. And guess what? The identifying factor is to say what? I know these things are upon me because I suffer them every day. My history is, is, is literally this right here that we show these images that we have on this poster right here. It's high time for us to wake up and understand these things, sister, right? Yes. In the Quran, hey, the Quran. The, the Bible is actually teaching you the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. The Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. You see, let me let me show you a law. Let me get Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two and verse five. Right. So the Quran, the Quran has the laws of our God because they looked into the Bible and they read the Bible and they pulled these laws from us. Right. Let me give Psalms one nineteen and one forty-two one more again. Right. The laws that what is a woman supposed to wear in Quran, it, according to the Quran? You don't know. How are you gonna ask me questions about the Quran? You don't know nothing about the Quran. That's my family. I don't. I don't know it. Right. The Quran ain't tell you that. You ever heard these things? Hey, sister, you got a dragonfly in your hand. It just. <laughs> that's crazy. Hey. <laughs> so listen, sister. Uh. Did the, did the Quran ever tell you that thing that you just heard? We read this out of the Bible, sister. Did the Quran ever tell you that? Right? I'm, I'm going to show you. Read this. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The law of the Most High God is the truth. Where is the law found? In the scriptures. That that I just read you, it actually, if you understand, if you where like any of these brothers up here, we was grieved in this system. We had understanding of these things, but we didn't know. We was just, we, you know what? We were just grieved in the mind for these things, right? We were grieved in the mind by these things that we experienced. Habakkuk chapter one, Habakkuk chapter one. We was grieved by these things that we were seeing, right? These things that's happening to our people on a daily basis, right? Read. Habakkuk chapter one, real quick. I got you. One on one. This is, Habakkuk, this, is this is Habakkuk chapter 1 and 1. Read it all the way through. The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see, O oh Lord, how long shall I cry? How long shall I what? How long shall I cry? Read. And thou wilt not hear. And thou wilt not what? And thou wilt not hear. Read. Even when cry out unto thee of violence. Of what? Of violence. Of what? Of violence. Of what? Of violence. Violence. You see that? Sister, look right here. Is this violence that we are experiencing? Is this violence? Okay. Does the Quran talk about that? You don't even know, right? Hey, if if if, the, if you say your sister, yo, hey, guess what? He ain't never come and tell you these things. You listen to us. All praises. 
You don't want to listen to you didn't want to listen to it if he had it. Well, hey, guess what? The script. Okay. Well, you, hey, well, you hearing it right now? Man's going to the Lord. Hey, you hear you you gotta hear it right now. You see that? Read. Okay. Read. Yeah. You got. It. Go ahead. Read it again. Okay. Verse three. Why dost thou show me, show me an iniquity? Why? Why is this happening to? Hey, brother Kabar, didn't you have? Didn't this come through your mind? Didn't it come through all y'all's mind? Why is these things happening to us? Right? Yeah. Read. And cause me to behold grievance. And cause me to behold grievance. Uh, uh, uh. What is the brother that just passed? God forgive me. Lord forgive me. The brother that just passed. Uh, shit, shit. What's his name? You heard about that, uh, that sister? The brother that was actually killed, had his head cut, dismembered. The brother in Alabama, Mississippi, right? Oh, when he was running. Yeah. He was running from him. He went to the woods, but yeah, ran into you didn't hear that about whatever. Do you know Tamir Rice, the little boy that got shot? Right? This is a grievous sister. What about uh 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 Freddie Gray? Right? Choked out, right? What about most recently? Uh uh what's the brother's name? God forgive me. I'm man, it's leaving my mind. Brother that had the knee put in his neck. George Floyd, George Floyd right? Is that not grievous to you, sister? And then all the countless other people being falsely accused, locked up, old men getting out of prison to this day, locked up 40 plus years. Is this not a grievousness? Read. For spoiling and violence. What? For spoiling yeah, and violence. violence. And violence, sister. You just agreed that we were what? We were bred like animals, right? By our enemies. And they walk around here proud, right? Read. Spoiling and violence are before me. Uh -huh. And there. That and there are that raise up strife and contention. There go those proverbs again, stirring up strife with us. Yeah, them black people, the main one with COVID. Yeah, it's always trying to get people mad and angry, trying to kill us, right? They always calling the cops. Yeah, yeah, I got a a, a, a black man. I think he's I think he has a gun. Cops right. pull up, and what happened? We get killed. We get locked up and taken down uh, to prison, man, to jail, right? Read. Therefore, the law is slept. The law is what? The law is slept. That's what, listen, sister. That's why we brought out Leviticus chapter 6. That law is slept. If you take anything away from somebody with violence, shedding blood, it said, Woe to him that take it and build it a city with blood. You understand that, sister? That's how America was built with blood. Right? Are you drawing a conclusion? All right? So. It said the law is slack. Let me get Second Ezra chapter four and verse twenty-three. Second Ezra four twenty-three. Second Ezra chapter four and verse twenty-three, and it reads, "For it was not my mind to be curious of the high things, but of such as passed by us daily, namely, wherefore Israel is given up as a reproach." To the heathen. To the what? To, to the, the heathen. heathen. This white man is considered a heathen. He is not the chosen of the Most High God. That's us. Let me get that Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Right? We're the chosen. Read. For what cause the people whom thou hast loved is given over unto a godly nation? Given over to what? A godly nation. See, that law that we brought out, that's justice and judgment. Right? That's justice and judgment. If a man steal it and taketh anything that is lost, See that? Who's the lost sheep? That's us, sister. We show you that we are the ones that's lost. We are called black, right? That's not a nationality. Where's the land of black, right? Read. And it reads, and why the law of our forefathers? Why the what? Why, why the, the law of our forefathers? Uh huh. Is brought to what not? Is brought to nothing. They don't care. They don't regard the law of our God because they hate instruction. As it says in Psalms chapter 15, verse 16, they hate instruction. And they always have. See that? They don't care for instruction. They have the murderous spirit of Cain within them. That's why they kill our people. You understand? You understand, sister? Right? Read. And the written covenant come to none effect. The written covenant, which is we are to reign above all people. Read it. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Lord thy God has what? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Lord our God is what? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Read. 
to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Sister, we special unto the most high God, right? That's why we the strongest. Out of all these things that we suffer here in America, who is the best dancers? Who is the best uh, basketball, football? Who is the best at everything? Singers. Even being separate from each other. Even having in our mind to hate one another. To have an evil eye. Our people need to fix their face, man. That's the beginning of that understanding, having an evil eye. Fix your face when you're looking at your brothers, man. We are here for you. Right? So... These curses that are upon us, it's supposed to make you understand these things. Let me get the book of John chapter 14 and verse 12. This is called the Holy Spirit that's trying to suck with you and make you understand these things, sister. What you had? Read from the top. For they are in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. All praises to the Most High God for that thing. Read. John chapter 14. And verse 12, yeah. very, very, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these, he. and greater works than these shall he do, mm -hmm. because I go unto my father, mm. and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, mm -hmm. that will I do, he. that the father may be glorified in the son, mm -hmm. if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my command. Do what? Keep my command. Do what? Keep my command. This this place has no place for the commandments of the Most High God. Cause who's ruling this place? Yes. Who's ruling this place? The wicked, the goddamn devil that the Bible says. Yes. Read. Yes. Yes. From the fifteen again. If you love me, keep my command. Keep the commandments, sister. Go. Go ahead. Read. And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another comfort. A what? Another, another comfort. comfort. Read. That he may abide with you forever. For how long? Forever. forever. Read. Even the spirit of truth. The what? The spirit yeah. of truth. truth. The what? The, the spirit, spirit of truth. truth. Let me get First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. So uh the spirit of truth, sister. That's what he brought out in Psalms chapter 119 and verse 42. It says the law is the truth, sister. The law. You understand? So that Quran ain't got that. Right? And I was gonna pull a, a actually I was gonna pull a law for you. Let me get that. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Now, this this law is something that the Quran, people that read the Quran, right? The Muslim, he say that he believes in this thing, right? Read. This is Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 4. Mm. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So if we all had what you had on right here, wouldn't that be strange? Right? That'd be very strange. But America allows you to be this way. Us, if we decided to. <laughs> it's, it's disgusting. But, but we lost. Right? We lost. We got to get understanding of that thing. But I'm just saying this to make a point. Our people do these things. Not only ours. Men do that. That's a fashion in America. Right? To wear a dress. Right? That'd be in a what? Abomination according to the Most High God. Now, what do the Muslims wear? What, uh, devout Muslim women wear? They wear that? Okay, what they wear? Dress, right? Covered up, kind of modest. Read that, brother. You got the modesty for me? This is the full book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manners also, the women adore themselves mm -hmm. in modest appearance. In what? In, in modest, modest appearance. appearance. Right? So that's a beautiful law. But where is it? The foundation of that is in the Bible. Right. You understand that? The law is the truth, sister. And guess what? All that judgment that I was bringing. Let me get Proverbs 28 real quick. Hold that. Let me get Proverbs 20. I'm sorry, King. Uh, Proverbs 28 and 9. I mean, Salah, verse 4. Right? So the, what's coming out of this? Judgment is coming out of this book. Right? This is justice and judgment. That's what I start off in the law. Glorious things in the laws of the Most High God. And we're just exposing those things to you, right? Read. They, Proverbs 28 and 4. They that forsake the law. They that what? They, they that, that forsake, forsake the law. law. Uh-huh. Praise the wicked. They do what? Praise the wicked. What they do to the white man? Praise, Praise the, the wicked. wicked. What they want to do? They want to join with the so-called white man. Love the so-called white man. Hey, and they do what? Praise the wicked. They praise the wicked. Right? They love their wicked holidays, their pagan holidays. Right? And a lot of them have to do with the conquering of nations, the violence that's within them. A lot of them got so much to do with it. That's why if we would have kept reading the Habakkuk, it say what? 
His heart that is lifted up is not upright in him. You see that? Pride. Arrogance. Strife and contention. Say that again, King. Yeah. Con. You see that? So we got to wake up and understand what are we really dealing with? What's in front of our faces? You see? What you got, King? I told you. Uh, so yeah. I got him. Read. First Corinthians, yeah. First Corinthians chapter 2. And verse 11. Verse 11. Yeah. For what man knoweth the things of a man? Says the spirit of man which is in him. Read. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Ah, the spirit of God is about justice and judgment. If you're coming in your own name, you're going to bring Muslim faith. You're going to bring uh, Bo uh, Buddha, right? You're going to bring all these manner of religions. These religions are with the, with the spirit of error, right? First John chapter 4, right? And just go right there, wait right there for me. First John chapter 4, read. Uh, uh, reading on in this uh, verse 12. Yes. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world. Right. We're not receiving the spirit of this world. Because the world is against the justice and judgment of the most high God. And we, hey, go, you still got that Proverbs 28? Yeah. Go back to Proverbs 28, verse 5. Proverbs 28 and verse 5. Read. Evil man. What? Evil man. What? Evil, evil man. man. What's the so-called white man? Evil man. Read. Understand not judgment. Understand not what? Understand, understand not judgment. judgment. They don't understand the judgment that you stole this land. You're increasing that which is not yours. Huh? And the most high God is going to destroy you for that thing. And we cannot wait. God. God. We cannot wait. For these things to happen, man. Right? Read. But they that seek the Lord understand all things. We understand that justice and judgment. The brothers, hey, we all agree with Leviticus chapter 6. And it says what? You steal something violently, you got to restore it. So the white man restore that thing. The most high going to return unto him double. You understand this thing? Read. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. No. Nah. But the spirit which is in which is of God. With the spirit of who? But which the spirit is, which, which is, is of God. God. Read. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of and, God. And that's to know the justice and judgment that's coming to the enemies that did what? Murder. Took us captive. Lied and deceived. Right? With violence and bloodshed. You understand this, sister? That's a beautiful thing. This is a thing that's revealing who we are and the justice and judgment that's coming to us from on high. Right? Read. Verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. We're not teaching this in man's wisdom. We don't, we, don't, we don't have up here credit scores. Come and get your uh, credit score because black people, we got to do something with our finances. Yeah, now, that's good. Right? But guess what? All these things are going to be passed away. All these things, credit, uh, uh, businesses that we establish, all these things is going to be burned up because that's how the Most High God is going to answer us, man, for all the many prayers, right? Let me get that in Psalms chapter uh, 65, right? We've been praying against this violence that's carried against our, against our people. You understand, sister? When we're praying out, guess what the Most High, let's see which, in what manner we pray. Read. Psalms chapter 65. Just read from the top. And verse number one. Praise waited for thee, O Yahweh, in Zion. In what? In Zion. Read. And unto thee shall the vow be performed. Read. O thou that hearest prayer. That what? That hearest prayer. prayer. Read. Unto thee shall all flesh come. Uh. Iniquities prevail against thee. Day in and day out. Iniquity. The wicked iniquities that come from our enemies. They are carried out. They prevail against us. Read. Iniquity. Prevail against me as of our transgressions, as of our what? The as scripture tells us what? Yes, as of our transgressions. Scripture tells us what? If you will not keep the law, statutes, and commandments, this is called transgression, sister. We committed transgression against the Lord, breaking of the law. Read. Thou shalt pure, purge them away. Uh huh. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest mm -hmm. and causes to the I'm sorry to approach unto thee. Right. He chose Jacob. He chose us to be a special people. Didn't we read it to you? You heard it, right? You still holding that? Nah, it's all right. Go ahead. That he may dwell in the courts. Mm. He, we shall be satisfied with the goodness of the house. Here go the big one. Verse 5. Jump. Jump to verse 5. But terrible things. By what? But terrible, terrible things. things. By terrible things. Read. By terrible things in righteousness uh -huh. will thou answer us. So that means bloodshed. All the... Man. All the testimonies of the Most High God. The testimony of the Lord is what? The spirit of prophecy. Prophecy is coming against this place. Right? It says, woe unto him that buildeth the town 
in the city by blood and by violence. You understand that, sister? The beginning of that understanding is in the law, Leviticus chapter 6. He violently took away lands. Michael chapter, uh, let me, oh, we can finish that. By terrible things, read, O oh God of our salvation, uh -huh. who art the covenant of all the ends of the earth, and of them, the confidence, says the Salah. Co confidence. The Lord's law, statutes, commandments, and of course, his testimonies are our confidence. You understand this, sister? Right? The prophecy, the judgment that's coming against our enemy. That's why that's how we able to stand. Without this, hey, we are nothing worth. Read. Uh, confidence of all that all the ends of the earth and of them that are far off upon the sea. That's right. Read. John chapter 4 and verse 4. This is first John chapter 4 and verse 4. Ye are, God, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you uh -huh. than he that is in the world. What's in this world? A lot of madness, a lot of death, a lot of destruction of on the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Right? They stole our land. This is what we're telling you. Right? They stole our land. They our, The laws of our father come to naught. They're not telling sisters to put on dresses and dress in modesty, uh -uh. right? They, they cast that thing behind. They, they, they step on the laws of the Most High God. God, uh -huh. right? So guess what? We are bringing this understanding to you because you are not of the world. We, you are of God, little children, uh -huh. and have overcome them. And have what? And have overcome them. That's what the word of God read. Because greater is he that is in you. Greater is what? Greater is he that is in you. Uh-huh. Than he that is in the world. Read. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. See, they speak of the things of the world, right? Woman should rule over her husband, so on and so forth. Everything that's backwards and upside down, right? Join with the wicked. Praise the wicked. Walk in his holidays. That's off. Right? That's what? That's off. That's what? That's, that's off. off. That's off, sister. Your mind and your spirit got to be in agreement with this understanding. The justice and judgment of the Most High God, right? That's how you get it. You got a question. I see it. Look on your face. Speak on it, sister. Right? Justice and judgment. You got to agree. And, and a lot of people say, oh, you're just trying to manipulate. Get that. Corinthians. First Corinthians. Chapter 11. Women ruling over men. Right. Right. Huh? Three? Three, three, three and 12, right? Yeah, come. Isaiah 3 and 12. Right, sister? So this is an order to things, right? When, let's say you at home, and I'm about to try to make sense with this, and we're going to put scripture on it, right? But let's say you're in the house. It's at night. You visualizing this, yes? Right? So you got a big, strong man lift the weights. You argue with him every day. Y'all go back and forth. You telling him, la, 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 la. He like, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? And he kind of do what you say, you know, you kind of, you you know, you you ask him, you give some, uh, oh, you know, I, I, I want you to, or he says, look, I want you to do this, I want you to do that. And you say, all right, if I want to, I'm going to do it. That's what you're saying in your mind, right? Right? But think about this situation. It's at night. All of a sudden, somebody come break it. And some, you hear noise in the house. What you going to say? Huh? Oh, no. All right. <laughs> so, so, so you sleep with a gun on your nightstand, right? You hear somebody banging on the door, this that, that, trying to get in. You go, what you gonna do? What's your first mind do? So what your husband? What your what you think your husband? Well, okay, he gonna uh, go get it. And you gonna be like, okay, that's what you gonna do. You gonna get up in that spirit? That's off. That's what y'all. That's off. That's off. Let me let you under. Now, now we love you, sister, right? But let me let you understand why. Go ahead. First Corinthians chapter eleven. The order. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ right. is God. Yeah, That's the order. Right. So that's the order of the Most High God. The head of the man, the head of the man is Christ. Who is the head of the woman? Is the what? Is the man. Is the man. What she say? You don't want to get married? Well, I mean, it don't matter. Hey, hey, you still got it. You got to still be in order according to the scriptures. Yeah. You you what? You prefer to be alone. See that? Well, if you're going to be married, 
This is the order that you got to come up under, according to scripture, right? Read this. This is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Mm -hmm. As for my people, children are the oppressors, uh -huh. and women rule over them. And what? And women rule over them. Women rule over them. Read what you have. He be out. Hebrews uh, 13 and 4. Marriage. I'm sorry. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Read. Oh. Marriage is honorable in all. Mm -hmm. And a bed under fox. Marriage is what? It's honorable, honorable in all and a bed under fox. Right. So marriage is an honorable thing. If you're keeping these laws that you commands, you gotta look at where these scriptures are coming from. Right? These scriptures are coming from the, 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 the Holy Bible. Right? So if you want to believe these things, you can't just, oh, I believe this, but I don't believe that. Right? If you were to get married, you have to come in order. Right? Let me get a... Uh, uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. There's more bread on that. Right? Marriage is honorable in all, but the bed and the fall. Mm -hmm. But hormones and adulterers, God will judge. Right? So, oh, you can't, can't kind of just be running around doing your own thing. And you meet somebody at the taste bar, you know, y'all talking, y'all laughing and gigging it up. And next thing you know, y'all y'all end up, you know, in some hotel, kind of laid up, right? Let me get uh, Exodus chapter 20, uh, 22 and verse, or I think it's 20 and verse 16. Yeah, 20, 20 and verse 16. Right. Exodus chapter 20 and verse number 16. Nah, it's a lot. Verse number 14. Right. And it reads, thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You can't be kind of laying around doing what you want to do, you know? Doing everything that you yeah, want to do. Sure. Right, and just, hey, uh, you, you're going off. That's the law. The law is the what? The truth. Read. Exodus, yeah, Exodus 22 and 16. Exodus, Exodus chapter 22 Exodus. and verse number 16. Read. And if a man, if a what? If a man uh -huh. entice a maid. A what? Entice a, a maid. maid. That's a woman. Go ahead. That is not betrothed. Uh huh. That's not about to be married, right? And lie with her, mm -hmm. he shall surely endow her to be his wife. She, he, he must what? Endow her to be his wife. Right. Go back to Exodus, I mean Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse uh, 55, right? You can't just kind of be laying around doing what you want to do. That's called fornication, whoremongering. Good. All Good. praises then. So commit that work unto the Most High God, sister, right? Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 45. Mm. You know you want 45? Deuteronomy 28 and 50, 50, uh, 55. 55. There we go. 55. That's what I said the first time. I know, I know. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 55. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children mm -hmm. whom he mm -hmm. shall eat. Right. Go back to 54. Read that. Verse 54. So Read, that, hear this, sister. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man. That the what? That, that the, the man. man uh -huh. That is tender a monkey and very delicate. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother uh -huh. and toward the wife of his bosom. Uh, towards the what? The wife of his bosom. Now that is a curse that's on our people. Our men are what? They, hey, you got uh, uh, violence in the household. Man kind of fighting upon the woman, so on and so forth, right? You got arguments, right? Is the black man, se this black man is separate from the woman? That's a lot that's going on right now, right? We at war with each other, right? Read. Uh, and toward the wife of his bosom, uh -huh. and toward the women of his children, which he shall leave. Which he shall leave. Our people leave the house. Our men leave the household, sister. Right? This is a great problem. You see, that's what's happening. But we got to realize we don't have the order of the Lord. Those those relationships wasn't established under the, the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High God. Right? We come into uh, courting, right? Or boyfriend and girlfriend. Right? With the mindset to, I'm just going to lay up and kind of go find something else. All right? He ain't put a ring on it. Right? Which is a tradition that comes from who? Our oppressors. That ain't what seals the deal. If you sure, if you, if a man lie with a woman, he must surely endow her to be his wife. Right, See that? Right. Read. He that getteth a wife begins the possession. Uh -huh. A help like unto himself and a pillar of rest. Let's slow down on that. It says what? Possession. Read it again. He that getteth a wife beginneth a possession, mm. a help like unto Peter, himself, chapter three. and a pillar of rest. Yeah, verse, uh, what? Uh -huh. Where a pillar, you're supposed to be a pillar of rest until you're married. Right? Read. That's right. Where no hedge is. Where no hedge is. There, there the possession is spoiled. There the possession is spoiled. Hey, that's a mighty precept. Read. 
1 Peter chapter uh, 3 verse 1 like, likewise ye what ye what ye what uh huh be in subjection be what be in subjection if you're gonna be a a, a wife to a man of the lord you're gonna have to be what in subjection we to your own husband that's order sister your own husband are right, you can't be going on just freaking off in the night read that in any if any not i'm sorry if any obey not the word they also may without the word be one by the conversation of the wise. You hear that, sister? What? A pillar of rest. He's supposed to be able to rest with you, right? Let me make it make it make sense, right? If if he need, if, if, like a lot of sisters believe they don't have to work. You know what I mean? They believe they don't have to work, right? Hey, that's good. That's a beautiful thing that you had in mind. But in terms of when they get married, they feel like, hey, I'm good. No, nah, if the bills are low, hey, he gonna need you to kind of help him out. Give me that. Help me unto the Lord, right? You hold that. You can hold that. Oh, damn. Genesis All right. Genesis two. Genesis two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Mm, uh, help me unto the Lord. That's right. Genesis chapter two and verse uh, twenty-two. Read. And the rib which the Lord God had taken for man. Made he a woman. Made him a what? Made, made him, him a, a woman. woman. That's where the woman come from. Read. And brought her unto the man. Mm. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones, the flesh of my flesh. She right. shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Read. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife. No mo no, no, mama, mama's boy. I mean, as it were, you know what I mean? Not... You can't, I ain't saying y'all can't love your mama have a special place in your heart for your mom. I'm just saying, no mama, well, he can't be over at the house. Yeah, mama, she keep doing this too, his daughter. He got to rule his own house. Read. And shall cleave unto his wife. Shall what? And shall cleave unto his wife. Read. And they shall be in one flesh. Read. They shall be one flesh. Read it, brother. Go ahead. Jumping up to verse 20. And Adam gave names to all cattle mm -hmm. and the fowls of the air and the beasts of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a help make for him there was no help for him you got to be a pillar rest you got to be able to help your husband talk with him with certain things you know what i mean kind of work it out don't kind of be, be just, i'm so mad i'm finna smack him upside his head it's, it's, it gets brutal it, okay then that's that's a beautiful thing right so you're saying that you don't want to get married hey if you have to wait don't wait until you get a man of the most high god